In this video we're going to start building the bootstrap block example. We're going to continue with our Barrio sub team. We're going to figure out our bootstrap version and we're going to download the correct example. We're going to then start implementing the CSS file and the wrapper markup. So here we have Drupal instance installed and it's a Barrio sub team here that is activated and we want to basically learn the version of the bootstrap that we're using here so if we simply view page source and since we have our CSS aggregation disabled if we just search for bootstrap we see quite a lot of CSS files and we see here from the CDN it's coming the version 4.1.1 Okay, that's what we're interested in. And now if we jump to getbootstrap.com under examples, if we switch to the version that we're using, 4.1, we can download basically the source code because we're interested in this example. So it's this example and we're going to download the source code. So let's download it here. Let's open in Finder and unzip it and add it to our code editor. That's perfect. So here we see under site and then docs and examples, there is the block example and it obviously has just a CSS file and HTML file. So let's go ahead and copy the CSS file. I'll just go ahead and copy it and in our Drupal code base we're going to jump to the Teams custom Boosty Barrio team and I'm going to paste it in the CSS folder there. So we have the block CSS there already. So I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to simply add it in the library CML file like so. And there we go. And basically this way we would have the block CSS included. So if we simply jump to our Drupal instance and if we clear the cache we would see that it changed a little bit but essentially it's already added. So block CSS there we go and it's not empty. So this bit is finished. The next thing we want to do is we want to start checking the index HTML from the block example. So here we have the index HTML and as we see we have to add something to the head because we have here a special font so in order to do that we have to inspect a bit and since we have tweak debug activated we can simply go ahead and check that the html comes from the teams country bootstrap barrio templates layout html html so we're going to simply copy it so contrib we have here templates layout and HTML HTML there we go let's just close it and paste it here and if we inspect a bit and start comparing we see that we have to add this body here in the head and 
then afterwards in body it's a clean body but we leave it like this we simply also have here a general container and in our case here we have this so I'm going to simply remove it for now and further I'm going to start adding stuff to the next template and this is the page HTML tweak and this is again in the same folder so I'm going to quickly copy it again so it's in the bootstrap barrio layout page HTML tweak so I'm copying it in our sub team folder and in it I'm going to remove these two wrappers so this wrapper ends does it end here or it ends somewhere earlier not sure so this one yeah it ends here so I'm going to simply remove those two bodies like so I'm going to push this a bit oh it's a so like so push once and then copy the container from here because we need just one container and the head I'm going to completely remove basically because I don't like this head and I'm going to simply replace it with the head that we have in our index HTML so it's a smaller and more elegant head let's push it a bit so this way it's nicer and we have here subscribe let's go ahead and simply make it at least translatable like so we're going to have here our path I think this should work front I hope it works and we're going to say boosty and for the sign up we're going to again make it translatable and make it point to the path let's say user login I think it's the root name of the slash user slash login so it looks I think much nicer like this let's go ahead and jump to the Drupal instance and clear the cache yeah so we have here the boosty and we have here everything in the header just I don't like that we see some stuff that are 
black. It's not the way we want it, but it's coming from the color CSS. So if we just remove the color CSS, it's going to be all fine. Let's go ahead and remove it because we don't really need it. If we just clear the cache now, we see that now it looks much nicer. So the subscribe points nowhere, but the boosty points to the front page. So if we jump to an inner page and we click boosty, we go again to the front page and sign up. If we're not logged in, we could go to the user login page. And you see now it looks, in my opinion, really nice already. But in the next video, we're going to have a look at how we could implement this layout for the node detail page. We're going to also implement our main menu and pretty much we're going to implement this whole setup in our custom bootstrap team. So if you like this video, please have a look at the links in the description. Like, subscribe and thanks for watching.